Okie dokie. So to start with, I think I'm just going to do one of the <laughs> archer poses. Keep in mind that most of the poses that I do here, they are from references. I'll say what it comes from my head, but most of these don't really come up from my head. I like to use um, references. In a lot of my sketchbooks, it's either um, references or from my head as well. A lot of them are from my head, you know, like these. Obviously, they were all from my head, all of these, because like it's just a standard pose, but like dynamic poses I have trouble with, and I feel like a lot of people probably have trouble with dynamic poses. <laughs> so let me just pull this in, get comfortable. Hmm. And now we're just going to add a little bit to the background to make it look nice. Nice, nice. There we go. We'll make it look like she's in motion. A few lines here. There, doesn't she look pretty? Oh, so nice. Okay, now here's the actual finished little product here. And soon we will have the whole page filled with a bunch of her just shooting some arrows in different poses, different cool poses, you know? Or it doesn't have to all be action, or maybe some swords. You have some love in there, some love in. I think now what I'm gonna do is, um, let me see, ink some stuff in, and you guys will get a beautiful montage of me inking this in, unless um, I decide to talk and then I interrupt the montage, but now I, there's a reason, like, I could actually just leave it like this, but there's a reason that I need to pen it, it's cause like, even down here, it's like, down here it's starting to smudge. So I often need to pen my thing so it does not smudge. Now let's move this here. We don't want anything to smudge. I know every artist out there knows the painful, painful truths of getting things smudged. Nobody wants, nobody wants to smudge. <laughs> So uh, let us let us begin.
Gross. Love is gross, you know, when you're not in love. But when you're in love, it's roses and daisies, isn't it? And now we get to see her beautiful expressions. And we've got happy, angry, sad, and confused. And we also got sad and flustered was supposed to be there, but you can see that this one right here is smudging. Well, actually you can't see, but the pages are smudging, so I need to ink these in pretty much. Usually for my drawings and my sketchbooks, I ink them in because later they're going to get all smudgy and it's not going to look pretty anymore. I know because in my past sketchbooks, when I look at them, usually I handle them very delicately as to not smudge it, but a lot of times on the inside it's smudged. Not like a bad smudge, but it's like dirty and I don't want it to be dirty, I want it to be pretty. Is that a thing, being a pretty freak because we're a neat, maybe more, more like a neat, because that would make more sense rather than pretty. Because I want my sketchbook to look pretty so it needs to look nice and not smudgy. Actually, I'm getting pretty tired, <laughs> so I think I'll just move on to um, drawing some more poses and then what will end the video. Yeah, that should be good. So. how big a bow is like dang that's huge 
I think I might have made it a little too big, but <laughs> or maybe that's really how he that's how um, big they are, but eh, who knows? I don't. I definitely don't. <laughs> I mean, I should know. That's the whole. That's my whole character's whole thing. A freaking bow, but I mean, she also uses um, swords, but you know, a bow is usually the way for her to go. I think I'll just leave it like that. Her head kind of looks misplaced, but who needs to fix it? I need to fix it. I need to fix it right now. Let's just put that there. It looks worse than before. We're just gonna leave it like that. She angry. <laughs> it's either her small, her head's too small, or something's too big. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so I think we'll finish with two. I know it's two's not that many, but drawing really takes a lot out of me. Drawing like making it perfect drawing. If it was just like you know sketchy sketch sketch sketch, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't take me that much effort. I also did a bunch of like line arting here, finished most of it, but um, yeah, let me just <laughs> let me just uh, zoom out so you guys can see. I got two beautiful poses here. Actually, let me fix the camera. Mm -hmm. So here we have two beautiful archer poses. I'll add more and more as I go. Um, let me know if you guys uh, like this, or if you didn't, or if you want me to do more poses or specific poses. I kind of, whenever I'm drawing in this sketchbook, I kind of just like imagine scenes in what the character would be in. Like this one, she could be hunting a rabbit or something, or have some grass around her, a little tree there. Mm. Little tree there. There we go. Little rabbit. Little rabbits behind her. She doesn't even know. <laughs> she's specifically hunting for this rabbit. Kidding. She's not. <laughs> um. But yeah, um, that was just that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully if you guys want me to see me more draw, I actually I lined arted most of this as well. Look how pretty it is. The first page of my chemical romance book. I was actually gonna comment on my chemical romance when I was younger. I had no idea what it was. I knew it was like an emo thing, apparently. I don't know. I mean I know now what it is, but when I was younger I was like, is that an emo thing? Is that what is it? <laughs> I always heard about it when I was younger, but I never knew what it was, and I was just one of those kids who was too afraid to ask about it or anything at all. <laughs> I was a kid who was afraid to ask questions. Um, but yeah, oh, I must put my signature. As an artist, you must always put your signature on everything. VB, VB, there we go. Alright then, um, I guess that's it for today, so bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>